In this video, we are going to learn how to use scroll to prototyping feature of Adobe XD. You can scroll on a single screen from one place to another with auto animate. So let me show you how you can do that. So um, here I have my landing page, which I am recently working on. So you can see over here, uh, I am right now in prototyping tab. So if you are designing something, you need to move to prototype and you have to click this element over here. So let me delete this so you can see what I actually mean. So double click, double click again to reach this over here. I'm going to add an interaction over here, plus sign for tap. And in the type, you can see we have one more option, which is scroll to. So you are going to select this one. And for destination, we are going to choose a group. So right now I have this email group at the bottom over here. Let me show you. So this is my email group. You can see over here. So I want the user to or my student to press over here and move to uh, this screen over here and add their email to get started. So I have already added my scroll to position and uh, prototype over here. Tap is the trigger action. Type what uh, it is going to do is scroll to. So destination is a group. So you can group your sections. Uh, for example, you can see over here on the left, we have email group section, um, review section and dif different sections on this page. So before that you have to group them. Now there are few settings like Y offset, easing and duration. So right now I'm going to set this Y offset to zero. And uh, for easing, we are going to select ease in out. And for duration, I'm going to select 2.0 seconds, two seconds. Okay. So let's test, test this one. And I'm going to play this. Let's move it in the middle. And I'm going to tap over here. And it took me to this section over here with uh, auto animate, uh, ease in, ease out. So this is a great way of uh, moving or showing scroll to actions on your prototype. Now, one more thing I'm going to show you. Let's see, for example, it is moving over here. For example, if I want some more space at the top, so I don't want this uh, start learning now to be, you know, stuck with this top over here. I want some space over here. Uh, what I can do is I am going to use this offset. Offset means it is on the Y axis. So it is going to move in this vertical direction. So if I put the uh, Y offset to, for example, in positive, for example, 100, let's uh, move it to 300. So you can see the difference. Now, if I play this over here, uh, you can see it is moved 300 pixels down. So rather than starting over here, it's started over here like this. So it is moving it down. But if I want uh, to start uh, at a bit higher place, I'm going to move backward and I'm going to move 100 pixels back. So minus 100 for the Y offset. And I'm going to play this again. Now let's move this and you can see I have a lot of good space at the top. So I can adjust it anywhere I want. For example, if I want to have it like minus 50, that would also work. So let's play this. Okay, so this is perfect. So this is a great way of using scroll to and position it at your own choice wherever you want to position it. And uh, let's see if we can have some um, other uh, this uh, and easing animations over here. So let's see how this snap works. Um, okay, so it, it works like this. And let's see how this wind up works. Oops. This is not good. Let's see the bounce one. This is very distracting for me. <laughs> and let's see how this ease in works. I think ease in, ease out will be good options over here. 
Oopsie. So it is not working very good. I think ease out is the correct option over here, but I think ease in ease out works very well. Yeah, so it slows down at the end. It is ease out. So try to use this ease in out. I think this is the best option over here. Yeah, this looks good. And if you want to slow it down, you can also um, change the seconds over here. So rather than two, I think it doesn't go to three seconds. Okay, so three over here. Let's see how it works in three seconds. Cool. So this is the way you can use your scroll to always try to use this ease in out. I think this is the perfect option that is going to work. Uh, if you have any questions about this uh, scroll to action of uh, Adobe XD prototyping, you can always uh, ask me in the comment section below. And before leaving this video, make sure you subscribe. You also click on the bell icon so you can get more updated videos like this one and also share it with others. See you soon in the next video. Till then, take care and bye.